Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey, welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. You guys, this week at Diamond Art Club, oh my goodness gracious. So April 28th is Diamond Art Club's four-year anniversary of the first order that they ever took. So they have decided that they're going to go all out with all of us and celebrate their anniversary. So what are they doing? They're releasing around 50 brand new diamond painting kits this weekend. You guys, oh my goodness gracious. Pray for your sneak peekers because uh, we've been a little busy this week. <laughs> this is so exciting. Thank you so much to Diamond Art Club for spoiling the heck out of us and celebrating with us for your four-year anniversary. Yay, where would we be without Diamond Art Club? So this is one of a few different sneak peeks I have to share with you guys this week. And let's just get into it. So what I have for you in this particular sneak peek video is the Light Weaver. Oh my gosh, you guys, do you see? It is a gold dragon and it is gorgeous and glorious. This is from the artist Raven Phelan. If you have seen my sneak peek videos before or watched any of my videos, <laughs> um, I adore Raven Phelan's artwork so, 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 so much. And so I was thrilled when I saw that this is going to be included in this special release. Now, um, all the pink branding here means that this is a round drill diamond painting quick kit. And just a quick heads up, Diamond Art Club actually just a week or two ago shared that they had to actually pause production of their round diamond painting kits for a little while because they wanted to work on some quality assurance with their round diamonds. So um, for a little bit here, the round kits are going to be a little bit fewer and further between. Um, they are back in production now, but I think it'll take them just a little bit of time to kind of catch back up. So this is, you know, probably one of the few round kits that may be included in this release. We'll have to wait and see. But yes, this is going to have round diamonds. So on the back of the box here, we've got info about how to diamond paint as well as your kit contents. And then on the side here, we have a discount code. You're gonna see discount codes in a number of different places as we go through this kit. I also wanna let you know that I'm a Diamond Art Club affiliate, so I actually have a discount code that you are welcome to use if you are looking at making your first purchase from Diamond Art Club, especially if you're looking at making a big purchase this upcoming weekend. Um, this code is good for 20% off your first purchase from Diamond Art Club. Um, it's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20, and I may make a small commission, so don't, don't, don't feel at all obligated to use it. Like I said, we're gonna find discount codes everywhere, so all I say is don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. They don't want you to pay full price. I don't want you to pay full price. Don't feel obligated to use my code. Just use some sort of code so that you're saving, saving a bit of money. All right, let's see what we've got in here. Oh, it's stuck. Do we have a big toolkit stuck in there? I think we do. There we go. All right, so this is not a huge kit. So actually, it's gonna be kind of nice to be able to take a look at. Uh, here we have a small sticker. I like to use this in my paper log book since it has all the information about the artwork along with the original artwork itself. So yeah, 56 by 79 centimeters, The Light Weaver by Raven Phelan. And then we also have a toolkit here. Now, Diamond Art Club has a couple of different toolkits that are uh, coming with their, their diamond paintings right now. Uh, this is the newer version of the toolkit and the older version is still gonna have everything that you need to do your diamond painting. The newer ones just come with a couple of extra goodies that I just like to think of as bonuses. So there's not a hard and fast way to know if the kit that you order is gonna come with this toolkit or with the older one. Like I said, I just like to think of it as there's some nice bonuses, but it's not a must have because like I said, everything that you need is gonna come with those older toolkits as well. Uh, here we have a basic pen and a squishy. You may get these colors. You may get any, another, any number of other colors in the rainbow. You're gonna get a bag of baggies. You can use these for kitting up or for storing your leftover diamonds. We've got a caddy that has a couple of plates of pink heart wax. Remember to take that plastic film off before, before you try to load your pen. Otherwise, it's gonna be a little tricky. <laughs> You're also gonna get a couple of thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try placing more than one diamond at once. 
We also get a plastic tray. There are a couple of different plastic trays that are going around even in the new toolkits. This is the one that is a little bit more malleable and a little bit more opaque. They both have the gold sparkles in them. You've also got, this is not a miscellaneous piece of plastic. This is a drill tray stopper. <laughs> It'll stop your diamonds from falling out. I think you can put this in going either direction, but this is what I usually see it as. <laughs> All of those goodies I just showed you, those are gonna come with your regular, they're gonna come with the older toolkit as well. These two items here, these are the ones that are, I think the real bonuses. So um, it looks like there's actually, like that's an error piece of uh, roll of washi there. <laughs> we have a roll of washi tape and a cover minder. I see a lot of people ask, what do I use these for? So this is a cover minder. Like I said, it's got magnets on the back. What you can do with this is uh, take off that bottom magnet, put this under the canvas in the area that you're gonna be working, then peel back the plastic cover on top, and then don't drop your minder like I just did, and then set your minder on top, and that's gonna hold back the plastic cover for you. The roll of washi tape, this is really, really cute actually. Um, I use washi tape to cover up the border of my canvases where there's sometimes glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. Um, it just prevents dust and dirt from getting into there. I also use washi tape to section off my canvases to work on. I'll link to a video all about that in case you're curious. The exact washi print and the cover minder style you get, that may also vary um, if you get them at all with your, with your new toolkit. So just keep that in mind. All right, the rest of the kit contents are here in this plastic disc cover. I am so excited, you guys. Now, you didn't hear it from me, but this may not be the only Raven Phelan that is coming out this weekend. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Or he, I feel like it's a he. Or maybe it's a non-binary dragon. You know, I don't, I'm not gonna make that call. We'll put him sideways for the moment just so you can see a little bit more of him. Let's roll it backwards so that lays flat a little bit more easily. Now, Diamond Art Club's canvases, sorry, I didn't clean off my table terribly well before I started filming. Diamond Art Club's canvases are self-flattening. I'm doing this for the sake of this video, so we're not stuck waiting, <laughs> making it a little easier for us. And there we go. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love, I love. I do apologize for the glare, but let me turn this sideways so you can see a bit more of him in frame here while I show you the rest of what we have. So we'll go through these diamonds together here in just a bit. But first, we are gonna get a booklet here. There's a thank you note from the founder, Angie, here on the front. Once you flip it open, you'll see what's included in your kit. Some info here, including a QR code with uh, that will take you to a video with step-by-step -step instructions if you're a visual learner like me. A QR code that'll take you to the VIP Facebook group. Now, if um, you're not already in this group, once you make your first purchase, be sure to join. It's a really fantastic resource <laughs> and a really fun community. Info over here with step-by-step -step instructions for how to diamond paint, as well as some more tips and tricks here, and yet another discount code. And then QR codes that'll take you to the Diamond Art Club app and your respective mobile devices. You do get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well. This is a larger sticker sheet that has all the info about the artwork again, The Lightly Weaver by Raven Phelan. A spot to write your start and end date and then this beautiful, breathtaking original artwork. Oh my gosh, I love diamond shape round, size 22 by 31 inches or 56 by 79 centimeters. Over here we have a set of pre-cut sticker sheets. It looks like this kit is just gonna have 30 colors. Not surprising given the amazing color palette of yellows and oranges we're seeing. Um, the color code over here, this is the same as the DMC color code, uh, with the exception of any number under the number 150 is going to be an AB diamond. It's a special kind of diamond. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about it once we're actually looking at the diamonds together here in just a bit. Looking at the symbols, I do not see any that look too similar from one too similar to one another, so that is good. Let's go ahead and take a look at some different elements on the canvas together. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. You'll also notice that the edges are scalloped and finished. I've never had a Diamond Art Club canvas fray at all. 
The canvas material itself, it's, it's super, super soft and almost velvety on the back. It's a nice thick material that, like I mentioned earlier, it is self-flattening. It is a magical mix of being both very sturdy and very malleable. And what that translates into is being this amazing plush material to diamond paint on that holds your drills beautifully and lays perfectly. The glue that Diamond Art Club uses is poured glue. Most canvases with a clear plastic cover like this, that means that this is gonna be poured glue. And Diamond Art Club's glue actually has, it's tough to see because it's more subtle, it's sparkly. <laughs> over here at the top left, we have a legend. We have that same legend over here at the bottom right. And then at the bottom left, there is our original artwork and the size and all of that other info. One thing I always point out is the copyright symbol here. So Raven Phelan has legally licensed this piece to Diamond Art Club. That means that she has given permission for the use of her artwork by Diamond Art Club and is being compensated for the use of her artwork. That's super, super important to me. Here we have info about Diamond Art Club's social media platforms. Be sure to follow them, especially this week, so you can see what all the new releases are. And then info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original purchaser of your kit, you are covered under that lifetime warranty. So if anything goes wrong with your kit, Diamond Art Club will take care of you. I find those kinds of issues to be extremely few and far between, but I appreciate that they stand behind their product so strongly. Let's take a look at the symbols on the canvas and see what we think of the clarity. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at those shades of yellow and gold and orange. This is quite a bit of color blocking. So we've got these big sections all with the same color. If you like to multi-place your diamonds, that means those will go really quickly. Um, and you'll have that same color in your tray for a while. Here's that beautiful symbol. One of them down here. Another up here. I wonder what these symbols, I wonder if they mean. I should look them up look at this beautiful beautiful dragon look at his head and his face i love the colors we're gonna get to see here the the symbol clarity is really really clear you will see a little bit of the colors around the diamonds themselves because they're round diamonds they don't take up the entire space so that is why you're seeing that color around the symbols themselves another symbol up here and some more Colors. There's a bit of confetti as well. Confetti is where you have lots of color changes in a small area like we have up here. You'll be single placing mostly through those and changing out the color in your tray a bit more often as well. Look at how amazingly beautiful this dragon is. Oh my goodness. And then I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to take a measurement and see if we are measuring it true to size. So we should be at, what did it say? 79 centimeters we are half a centimeter short not a big deal to be honest i give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room and then we've got just a tiny tick shy of 56 centimeters wide so i am going to call that true to size oh my gosh i want to work on it immediately immediately <laughs> let's get into the diamonds together so uh, we have the name of the kit on here. So if you'd like to store this separate from the canvas, you'll be able to match them up easily later. Beautiful packing job as always with these gorgeous colors. Let's get into it. So with only 30 colors in this kit, we're probably gonna have a lot of some of these colors. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six bags of 742 and then a very close shade to that one two three four five bags of 741 a big bag of 3823 it's kind of an off-white ivory three bags of 743 another really close shade of orange and then we have some grays and yellows and oranges again when you've got colors that are so close to each other in shade like that Typically that means that there's gonna be some really beautiful color blending. And then we have a big strand of like smaller sets of diamonds here, kind of going in order of weight. So we have some pretty blues and oranges. I haven't seen any ABs yet. I don't think that there were any in there that I missed. And we should have four. I wonder if I overlooked any on the other strand. We'll go through this and see. Okay, 
So our first AB that I'm seeing at least here is, oh, we have some stragglers down here. That's where the rest of them are, okay. But anyway, our first AB here, 101. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and just like the Northern Lights have a really beautiful color shift, so too does the iridescent coating on these AB diamonds. The areas that these have been charted are gonna sparkle even more than regular diamonds do. It's gonna draw your eye to those areas. They typically go in places that the light is kind of glinting off of and that it just makes sense to highlight. It can really enhance and elevate a painting beautifully. So we have more just tiny handfuls of these colors like blues and reds and even a little bit of green. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So it looks like our other three ABs are all just in this one strand. They haven't seen this before, where it's like ABs just get their own dedicated strand. So 141, we have a big bag of that particular AB. I wonder if that's gonna be in the symbols in the artwork. This is a white AB and I feel like is truly one of Diamond Art Club's favorites because it's such a good neutral. Love the extra sparkle on top of those diamonds. This AB is 129. Of course, this is the perfect AB for a kit like this. This is a pale buttery yellow. It's a little bit more subtle, but it is so, 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 so pretty. And then finally, 115. This is a little bit of like a deep cherry red. It's kind of, the coating on top is really striking. It's actually reflecting like some blues and pinks and greens. I love that. So there are three of our four ABs. Then we had the blue one in there as well. Let's take a look. I'd love to find where these different colors are going to go and point them out to you as we go along. So starting at the bottom, sure enough, this entire symbol down here, entirely, the whole thing, the middle and the outer ring and everything, that white AB. The white AB is also doing some highlighting through right here. I think that's where like the dragon's wing is coming around. And then, oh, that's gonna be so, 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 so pretty. Let me not get ahead of myself. Um, here, kind of like on the dragon's like neck, here is the white AB, like huge chunks of the white AB. And if you look at the original artwork, like that's perfect. That's like the lightest, one of the lightest parts of the piece. And that's gonna be so, so, so pretty. It's just gonna, I think, fit the artwork really well. Um, we have just huge, huge chunks of that white AB through here. In this symbol over here, just the center part really is the white AB. And a little bit of kind of this top part of it is the white AB as well. We have some of the pale yellow AB actually also going through parts of here and kind of outlining the lightest part of the dragon's um, neck here and part of its body. So I do really love that as well. And then, oh my gosh. Okay, so nearly all of the scales on the back of the dragon's neck coming down, head and neck coming down, all of these seem to be outlined in those pale yellow ABs. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I need to have all the time in the world to work on all the kids that I want to. Uh, down here, starting at the bottom of the dragon's kind of snout here, we have some of the white AB outlining all the way up here to the dragon's brow. The pale yellow AB kind of outlines its mouth. Some more of the white AB here, as well as the pale yellow. Kind of a lot of these lightest parts you're seeing seem to be AB. So some of it is just a regular diamond, not an AB. Like these are just regular diamonds here. I wanna make sure I'm not missing as we get up here, cause there's a lot of confetti. So yes, we have some of the blue AB in the dragon's eye. And a little bit more of the pale, that blue AB in here, and a couple sprinkles of the pale yellow, white and pale yellow ABs here. Like I said, you guys, there's quite a lot of confetti. I wanna make sure I'm not missing it. Some more of the white and pale yellow here. 
as well as doing some outlining here. And then this is the dragon's like its horns, the underside where it's kind of glinting the most. We have the pale yellow and the white AB as well. Where was that red going to be? Okay, here we go. Let me do this instead. Okay. So we have some of the red AB in here which this is, if you look at the original artwork again, kind of the other underside of the dragon's wing. Oh my gosh, these colors are incredible. Uh, we have some of the red AB in here and also here in the dragon's horn, we have some of the red AB. Oops, I pointed to the wrong spot right here. Um, we have white ABs outlining the whole outside curve of the dragon's horn here as well as kind of some of these like larger scale pieces i don't know all of my dragon anatomy okay <laughs> and then finally just a couple here and there of the blue ab sprinkled kind of through the sky um some of the pale yellow AB doing some really pretty highlighting through the fringe on the dragon. The lightest part, some of these lightest parts are that pale yellow AB. And then we have a bit more of the, we actually have a few different lines of the blue AB over here. Kind of doing some of this like background bit. Wow, 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 you guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is one of those pieces that I remember voting on quite a while back in the VIP group. And I'm thrilled, thrilled, thrilled that it made it into the lineup and that it is finally here. I am not kidding when I say that I adore Raven Phelan's artwork. I have completed a few different kits of hers. Um, the other one that is releasing on Black, Fr <laughs> Black Friday, it's not Black Friday. It feels like Black Friday. <laughs> Um, the other one that is releasing this week for Diamond Art Club's fourth anniversary celebration, um, I'm working on it right now. I actually unboxed it last week and have been working on it since then. And you will see that sneak peek uh, pretty much right up until <laughs> as close to release time as I can get away with unless I manage to finish it sooner. I may or may not finish it. We'll see. But it just... Oh my gosh, I am not exaggerating when I say that Raven Phelan is one of my favorite artists that Diamond Art Club licenses with. It doesn't hurt that so much of her artwork is dragons and that is my ultimate weakness, <laughs> but her style of dragons, this kind of high fantasy style and just the way that Diamond Art Club renders it, it is breathtaking. It's stunning <laughs> in the truest sense of the word. I love what I'm seeing with this piece. This is probably going to go in my stash of rainy day kits, but I cannot recommend it highly enough. So let me give you all the details about the release because um, it's a little complex. <laughs> so uh, the official general release time for all of these kits that Diamond Art Club is releasing for their fourth anniversary celebration the official release date for the general release is Saturday, April 30th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Now, that's the general release. They're doing something really, really special for Diamond and Ruby level rewards members for this release, where we're actually going to get about a day and a half of early access. So midnight Pacific Standard Time on Friday, which is technically very, very, very late Thursday night, it's 3 a.m. Pacific time on very, very early Friday morning, April 29th. That is when the these releases are gonna go live for Diamond and Ruby, Ruby level rewards members. Now, if you are not a Diamond or Ruby level rewards member, don't fret. Diamond Art Club always holds back stock for the general release, um, but that is just the plan right now for the anniversary celebration if Diamond Art Club has made any changes because I am filming this a little bit in advance. Um, I'm gonna pop that up here on the screen now. So please take a look and I will have added any info that has changed since I filmed this. But um, I wish you the very best of luck in shopping and trying to narrow down your shopping cart and your wish list. Um, we do not yet know which kits are going to be limited edition. Uh, so. I recommend checking in at release time at any kits that are marked as limited edition. What that means is that Diamond Art Club is not planning to restock them once they sell out. And often 
kits that are marked as limited edition sell out quickly, especially if they're by a popular artist or have like a really wide appeal. So I definitely recommend taking a look and jumping on any kits that are must haves for you that are listed as limited edition. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for hanging out with me during this sneak peek. I hope that it was helpful for you and uh, best of luck, like I said, if you're shopping during this big celebration uh, of Diamond Art Club's fourth anniversary. So thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to sneak peek with you all ahead of the weekend. And um, thank you all for watching. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. And if you're not already subscribed and wanna keep following along with this week's sneak peeks and lots more diamond painting goodness, I would love to have you. Feel free to subscribe. All right, my friends, have an absolutely amazing rest of your week and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.